box one. Okay, hi. This is Diane from I and I Studio, and today I'm demonstrating doing a final coat on my acrylic painting with cold wax medium. So, why would I want to do that? I have already varnished the surface. It's protected, UVLS protected. A lot of um, collage mediums are unstable, so the UVLS surface helps to protect them from sun. But the varnish has a very synthetic quality to it, just like the acrylic paint has a very synthetic quality to it. I was an oil painter for more than 20 years and I loved the natural surface of oil. It seems to have its own life, its own chi, as they would say in, in China, it has its own chi. Um, acrylic does not, it's plastic. And therefore, it's a pretty flat, pretty dead medium. Um, I didn't like that at first, but guess what? I got to the point that I felt like a magician breathing life into the painting that was dead as a doornail. Suddenly, I could create the illusion of life, and it was like, it, it was like magic to me. Well, it's sort of the same with a final coat of cold wax medium. It takes a very synthetic surface and it kind of breathes a life into it. So I'm going to be using Gamblin cold wax medium. Although you could use any cold wax medium, I happen to have Gamblin, I happen to like Gamblin. So this is a lot like uh, the Karate Kid, wax on, wax off, and I've got my rag already in the can. I'm going to take a clean rag and just dip it in the cold wax and in small circular motions I'm going to wax on. Just like I was waxing my car. Small circular motions. It's a very interesting application because your rag will start to drag when it comes to a, a point in the painting that doesn't have the wax on it. So you get a real feeling for the painting. Uh, when it needs wax, where the wax has been, where the wax needs to go. Um, sometimes you have to hold it up to the light, give it a little sideways glance just to see if you've gotten the whole surface. And I do like to put two coats on just makes it that much nicer, that much creamier, that much more buttery. So, I think I've got every little bit of that uh, surface covered. And then you wanna wait for 20 minutes. The manufacturer suggests at least 20 minutes waiting. Fortunately, I thought ahead, and I have my second piece, which has been sitting for 20 minutes or so. Okay, so now it's wax off time. And just like my car, just like the Karate Kid, small circular motions, get that wax off. It's a little on the side, you want to make sure you get every piece off. I may have applied this one a little thick, which is going to make it a little harder to buff. Um, I know when you're waxing your car, you don't want to get too much wax on it or you're going to sit there all day long waxing off. And I just don't want to do that and it's not necessary. I don't think it makes it any better. So, go ahead and buff it up. You're going to get a beautiful surface that it isn't quite matte. I might describe it as a little satiny but it's got a beautiful life force that you're just not gonna get with varnishes. I think you can tell by the way my rag just glides on that. It's gorgeous, it's just gorgeous. So, that's how it's done. Um, it's simple and I would probably repeat the process. Now there's another little step 
that I'm going to show you that my husband does. He works with plaster and he gets the most beautiful surfaces. This is a little uh, palm sander. He has a uh, buffing um, pad on. It's a little sponge buffing pad. Make sure that you do not do this with sandpaper. You'll ruin your surface, okay? He doesn't even put the buffing pad on the surface. He puts a, a barrier of a shop towel down and then puts the buffing pad on the shop towel. Here we go. can't get a surface like that any other way. So um, I have uh, heard that some people will mix a little gal kid with the cold wax and I think this would give you a little harder surface like a more of a varnish surface. Um, varnish is quite a hard surface whereas cold wax is a softer surface. You're going to have to be a little bit more careful with your surface in storing, in transporting. You should make a practice of being careful with your surface in transporting and storing anyway. So it's just a, a reminder that it's a little more delicate, um, a little softer, but a whole lot more beautiful and a whole lot more natural, okay? It's been great. Thank you for listening. Be safe in these uncertain times. I want you to be safe. Tune in. I will be demonstrating a whole lot more. And um, please, please check out my website, dianewilliamsart.net. Thank you again from I and I Studio. Bye. Oh, keep your fingers crossed.